I'm really pleased to have uh, Alex Smith here uh, because we have a great hauler team. Uh, uh, you got Alex, mm -hmm. you got a brother, Adrian. I think you're the better looking twin brother. That's true, that's true. Uh, we got Bruce Parsons, we got Tanner, and then you got Jacob. And one thing I may notice is because as, as Jacob has been working more with y'all, he's starting to look like y'all. So <laughs> we're going to have triplets at some point in time. But <laughs> Alex, you're very creative. And so you have a project here. Describe, tell us what this project is. All right. So what I have here are uh, little 3D printed um, holler monsters that the students um, of Owsley County High School and Belfry High School created over like just a brought them in for one workshop and they this is what they created when they came back the second time they had these monsters created and yeah it was really it was really interesting because uh, I taught uh, they came in and I taught them how to use blender which is a 3d graphics software and they none of them had ever used blender before and when they came back they had these elaborate shapes and these monsters that they made out of their own so and you did this at our virtual reality lab Yes. Well, and describe what's available in that lab. Well, we have our, uh, it's, we call it the virtual hauler uh, space. And um, what we have there, we have virtual reality. Uh, we have motion capture um, software and cameras. So we have about 12 different um, OptiTrack uh, motion capture cameras that um, kind of capture the reflective, these reflective surfaces that we put all over um, people on these uh, motion capture suits. And um, basically, that's it, VR, motion capture, and um, workshops where we teach students stuff software. Yeah, and then of course you got the 3D printers on the other side and our robotics and our drones, oh, yeah, the and drones. drones and all that. Definitely. So, uh, but you all help with a lot of different types of workshops. Mm -hmm. And you can even, right now, I guess people can get on the hauler and they can learn too, can't they? Oh yeah, definitely. We have a LMS service on, a, on the hauler and they can get on there, they can learn. Uh, we're working on a podcast LMS, and uh, we actually have a video production LMS that students can take yeah. right now, so that's yeah. something they can do at this moment. Yeah, well, I know this is hot, but that looks a little bit like Alex, your brother. Oh my gosh, no? yes. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, Adrian, I'm Alex. Oh, Alex, okay. <laughs> <laughs> get, get the two mixed up. It happens all the time, it happens uh, all the time. But, well, now, first of all, t talk about the opportunity to work at the Holler. I mean, Man. you're kind of a, in a way, kind of a, you could be kind of a geek because of computers and all mm -hmm. that, Definitely. but you're very, you, you enjoy interacting with people. So talk about this experience. Well, when you're working at the hauler, you kind of have to be a jack of all trades. You got to know how to do video production. You got to know how to work a little bit of a website, uh -huh. uh, even uh, 3D modeling. I mean, before I started at the hauler, I had just dabbled in it, but now, I mean, if if you've seen the animation we have out front, I mean, it's that's I created that in just a week, and with just what I learned under a month's time. Now the anim animation then was the one dealing with the uh, the dragon the, and the the pig getting uh, kind of lit on fire by the dragon, and then and kind flying. Of, yeah, flying. And so, folks, I think you'll be able to find that somewhere on the holler. Yes, I'm definitely. Sure it's part, yeah, that type of thing. Definitely. Uh, so, uh, what have you learned from working with students? What what gets them most excited? The opportunity to create, really. That's that's what I've seen. Uh, when we were doing the, when we first started the Blender workshop, um, I mean, some students they they quit listening to me and just went off and created their own thing. I mean, that was, I mean, that's what I wanted to. I wanted them to take yeah. it and just take off with it. Just create create their own creations, you know. So. Okay. And as we know, uh, you can be very entrepreneurial. You can do these. It's like flying drones. Yeah. Uh, you're going to crash a drone, and if you break a part, then you could just go ahead and create your own part, yeah. you know, through 3D printing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's it's the 3D printers open up a whole other resource to us. That it's almost yeah. like uh, modern day 21st century, 22nd century blacksmiths, <laughs> yeah, or MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, Alex, thank you so much. Uh, no problem, thank you, you Ron. It. Okay. It's been an honor being on your show, yeah, The Daily Show. Oh, yeah.